It's been a pleasure again to be one of the judges for the superb entries for Golden Time Talent Season 61. Um, and without further ado, I'll critique a few of my favourites. So um, 10 out of 10 for Snizana Havrazik, uh, academic vocals. She was accompanied by a live piano. Um, she had a long song up to five minutes. There were no additional um, speakers or microphones. She sang with her human voice and there weren't any studio effects it was an amazing example of the human and female vocal uh chords and the years and years of training in order for her to hold all of the notes uh, to remember how to sing each note she put so much effort and emotion but effortlessly so it deserved more than 10 out of 10 it was absolutely extraordinary um one of the most outstanding that i've ever seen the next one uh, fidan sultanova i gave an 8.5 for folk vocals um accompanied again by a live piano again no effects were used it was uh, no microphone no speakers no um effects in any way beautiful vocals um the performance the composure the posture uh, and you could feel, even if you didn't understand the language, you could you could identify what that emotion was about, what the feeling was about. You can easily get lost in the song, but it was driven by, again, the human touch, the voice, the vocals, delicate, thoughtful, emotional, uh, tender. And the feelings in the voice for me were um, outstanding. Um, the third um, I'll talk about is Mariana Panchenko. I gave nine for pop vocals. Um, it was a very much slower tempo song than some of the others, but it was deep. And again, you could feel what the singer was trying to convey there. She was singing. Uh, she brought um, depth into every word, 100% feeling every single word, something was put into that and her mind, um, you could tell into every sort of vowel consonant. Um, and it, it again is, is outstanding, especially in the day and age where so much is talked about by uh, AI, artificial intelligence and computers and things like this. So it was fantastic. Keep, keep it up, uh, Mariana, fantastic. Yulia um, Brelevsk, 8.5, excuse me for my pronunciations, 8.5 pop vocals. It, it was true. She was true. You could feel the truth behind, if it's funny for me to explain that, the truth behind what she was saying, how she was feeling, what she was saying, and putting that into the wonderful world of music and um, the bridge between human and instrument and everything that music should be about and should be kept about, she presented in this um, song. So there were again, no, microphone, no microphones. It was live and no added effects. Uh, she increased subtly at different parts of the song. It sort of the energy and feeling uh, was building up and you could feel that and that was done in a very professional melodic way. Um, the the last but one, Bozina Vozniak, I gave nine for pop vocals. Um, there was a video, there were studio effects um, used, but then that's part of music and entertainment. And again, this was a different one, but I could tell from the way that the song was portrayed without understanding what the, the, the words were, there was a definite meaning there that would... Um, be an example of the the culture the pop culture um movies acting um the industry itself uh, would very much be easy to um relate to this anyone in the industry and any any person watching so the, the way that the music video was made actual the choice of the song and the way that the performer performed the song and with the vocals primarily is what i'm critiquing were all matched so perfectly well that it was very hard not to give this more than nine out of ten uh, the final one, Mikhail uh, Gutman, a singer songwriter, I believe it was the his own song. Um, the music was on a screensaver. It was a stirring, um, sort of typical sort of rock, um, soft rock to hard rock sort of song. I felt uh, for me, that's what I took from it. But it was an original one. I didn't understand the vocals where it wasn't in English, but nevertheless, that's what music. 
uh, can be like. You can like things, you can get a feeling. And it sounded Scorpion-like. Um, any any of, of your favourite rock bands would easily have that, it seems, on an album. Um, so it was fantastic, full marks um, for that. And well done to everybody that took part. I hope to see more in the future if I'm asked to do it again. And it was an absolute honour. And those are just some of the ones that I mentioned, but everybody's well deserved of high marks, high grades. You're all fantastic. And I hope and wish you all the best in your endeavours to do whatever you do in music, art uh, or acting, whatever it may be. Peace and love, Rod from JD Days.